It's T Beast the God. I'm here to chop game with my boy Burn One KB. And what's new in the loop? What's the science and the mathematics? Come on. I just shit, came back shit, from Cali. Uh, I just broke my bitch with 50. Uh, uh, me and my bitch with the runway. We in the store. Ass way. clap like gunplay. <laughs> Pippin' out your baby mama. Uh, she call me daddy, and that's what the sun say. I'm kicking shit daddy. like sensei's. T Beast the God. What's going on with you, my dude? Rap legend. Hey man, I'm just maintaining bro, just, just trying to be the better version of myself, trying to outdo who I was yesterday, that's all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man, that's what's up man, shit, last time I seen you bro, we was at, um, we was up here at, uh, what's it, Sound Hustle Studio, Sound House? Yeah, Sound Hustle, yup, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was up here interviewing Pac-2-6 upstairs and shit. Oh yeah, that boy cold, I mean, I mean, it was late that night, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, shit, everybody's up in this motherfucker. Yeah, that motherfucker, that was a crazy night. A lot of people coming through, a lot, a lot of legends that came through the studio, you feel me, from what I heard. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's dope because I got to see the uh, whole foundation of this shit. The owner, he just locked up our front door. It was like, he said, I heard you the bet I need to talk to for about this music, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And I just watched him build this bitch from the ground up, you know what I'm saying? I got so much work here, record a hell of songs, we got like, at least four or five albums done in the same studio, you know what I'm saying? Just constantly working, grinding, I see, bro. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. And yeah, I'm tapped in, man. I check out the page and everything, you know what I'm saying? I see what's going on with you, bro. It seems like you've been having your hands in this music shit for a good time, you know, a good, good five years, at least, good five, six, seven years type shit. I see you tapped in with a lot of motherfuckers in this industry, man. You get a lot of industry shout outs. Niggas like JD Kids be shouting you out. Niggas like uh, Key Shine. Like, you know what I'm saying? The list go on, you get a lot of celebrities really tapping in with you, man, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I'm definitely, man. The thing is, I just finally got a got a solid team. I got management going, you know what I'm saying? My shows is starting to, they, they underway, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, everything's just coming together, you know what I'm saying? My team is always reaching out to people by whatever means, you know what I'm saying? Getting them stamps, getting them, you know what I'm saying? Getting that acknowledgement or just really networking and, and you know what I'm saying, trading service or, or just, you know what I'm saying, just basically rubbing shoulders with people, you know what I'm saying? So I, I look forward to everything we got going this, this upcoming year, you know what I'm saying, 2021. Yeah, shit, how was your uh, 2020? How did you bring in the new year? Are you one of the type of niggas that have resolutions? Resolutions? Hell no, I have resolutions every day. I'm trying to, I'm always trying to be better than yesterday, you feel me? Hell no, nah, so I, don't, I ain't really gonna put that much pressure on our year. I think I damn near did that in 2020. That ain't what you do. Even before the coronavirus shit, that shit was like, oh, this, this is a prime example why you know, fuck that, but just just make yourself better every day. Fuck every year. Gotta take it a day at a time. Yeah, now, um, so much with the music, man. Like, who you attacked in out here with, man? Like, I see you, uh, you told me that you tapped in with uh, Blanco Tarantino, y'all cool. Oh, yeah, that's my boy, man. Um, Blanco Tarantino, SCL, yeah, Mixtape, yeah. Mix -tape. Tape King, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, I rock with, like, there's plenty of outlets in the city, plenty of DJs, and, you know, uh, shout out to Streets 105.1, they didn't, they didn't, they rockin' with your boy, you know what I'm saying, I did an interview with them, um, yeah, man, I'm talking about, I'm tapped in with all the artists, too, for the most part, you know what I'm saying, and if I ain't, if I ain't making moves with them, I, I know who they are, got mutual respect for them, you know what I'm saying, it's just, you know what I'm saying, I'm really trying to level up, I ain't really trying to, the city is always gonna be the city, home, home. It'll never be a place like home. But I'm really trying to elevate and really trying to go international. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to show all my, all my talent and really show people why I go by T Beast the guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I got this uh, eight song project I'm gonna drop called Mark of the Beast. I'm gonna start the year off with that one. That's coming out in about a week or so. I'm actually gonna preview a couple songs off of that for you. You know what I'm saying? Stick around. And uh, after that, man, I got this joint called God and Game. I feel like I've been working on God and Game my whole life, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like every album I made was adding something so I could add it to this album, you know what I'm saying? God and Game, man, where did that uh, concept of that title come from? Honestly, uh, man, I got my big brother, Joey. He be putting me up on a lot of stuff. And, um, and when I was like 13, I spent like two, three weeks with him in Cleveland, Ohio. That was my first time catching a plane. 
had a flight from Ohio and shit like that. So I went out there, I was chilling with him. And um, I was like, nope, homie, all you need is God in the game. And it always stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So I added my own meaning on to it and just took the inspiration from my big brother, Joey. You know what I'm saying? And um, cause basically that's that's what it is, man. I'm T B to God. I I got game to give to the to the youth, you know what I'm saying? I like to call it gospel to the youth, you know what I'm saying? But real talk, bro, I got God a game. That's all I need. I feel like that's all everybody needs. You gotta play the game to win. If you don't play the game, how you how you gonna win? You that's that's worse than a loss, you know what I'm saying? Right. So God a game is all we need. Now listening to your music. I see that you are a person that steps outside the norm and you know you do things a unique way as far as how you make your music as far as with the rap game. And uh, I see that you put out a song called Saddle. It's a country rap song. Hell yeah. Had a Hell video yeah. for it and everything, man. So Hell explain to yeah. me what made you want to dip into that. Like, because you know, it's not a really a genre that's really out there like that. Yeah, yeah, but honestly, man, I think it's the Midwest in me because we're influenced by so much shit. We're influenced by pretty much every every other region of the country and we also influence every other region of the country because we right here in the middle. Everything comes to the Midwest, especially St. Louis. We right here in Missouri. This is the heart of America, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I ain't no in a box ass nigga. You feel me? So honestly I feel like I can make whatever I want to make. Just like I'm gonna have this song on God, God and Game. But like that's why they call him the God. That's why they call him the God. You know what I'm saying? It just, just really. That's why I call myself really. That's short for rap God. I really feel like I'm the real rap God. I'm just slept on. I prove it over time. But yeah, man, that's that's really where it come from. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. Um, how old were you when you decided that music was your lane and uh, this what you was gonna do as far as like? I know you probably into a lot of other things, but. When did you get that feeling of like, okay, I'm, I'm cold with this shit, I think I can do this shit, niggas ain't fucking with me. Like, who, was you, was like, who, who were you influenced by too? Man, I'm, I I got a broad range of music that I listen to, but I say I felt like when I was nine years old, Big Bro, he got me a karaoke machine with some blank cassette tapes and a, a CD with some beats on it. And he was like, record on the tapes, rapping over the beats, you know what I'm saying? I put the CD at the top, put the blank tape at the bottom, hit the play and record button, and rap on it. If I mess up, I start all the way over, go straight through the songs. And uh, when I was nine, when I when I did it for that first time, when I was nine, I felt like that was that was it. I was recording songs. And so I feel like <laughs> around that time, that's when that's when I knew then. I ain't I ain't I can't really I ain't really too off in the sports and anything like that. I just always been into this music. I've been wanting to be a rapper since as long as I knew what a rapper was, as long as I could talk. But when I was nine, I got that karaoke machine. That's when it was no turning back. It was like nothing to play with. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but yeah. Then also another uh, honorable mention, when I was at uh, Eureka High School, I was a freshman at Eureka High School. They had me perform at the uh, homecoming assembly. It was like over 2,000 people there, because all the students was there, and it was over 2,000 students at the school, and they parents and the teachers, the staff. so. Plus like 2,500 people, I say. Was there. That was my first time performing ever. So it was like everything, that's a pretty big ass start performing in front of that many people. So that's how I look at it anyway. And so I perform at these, you know, smaller venues where it's like only 500 people in there. It's only a thousand. That's nothing. I was I did that when I was 14, 15 times two. You know what I'm saying? So that's that was that's what I start with. That's what I keep in my mind and keep going with this shit. That's what's up, man. Uh, what else you got uh, going on with business outside of music? You know what I'm saying? What else you tap into? Are you into the live photography and stuff like that? Uh, honest, honestly, I produce, man. I, I done produced some records. I produce a lot of my own records. I done worked with a lot of uh, artists here in the city. You know, Chanel the Go, Jock Kitchens, uh, Lady Slime, you know, uh, SG Breezy, uh, MBZ Live. It's quite a few people. Uh, I, I produced one of my own records, and I had my boy B-Lock on there. Yeah, it was me, B-Lock B, and on you know, uh, Blessing Remix, I produced that record. Um, I produced a, I produced for my boy E.C. Marv, he kind of big out in um, Cleveland. That was back when I had first started taking beats series when I produced for uh, E.C. Marv. That was like, uh, 
2014 he used the beat, but I ain't really look back and see like tap in with him until like years later, like a few years later. And I was like, damn, he kind of, um, you know what I'm saying, kind of bubbled after using it. He ain't even bubbled from the record. It's just the work he did after that. I'm like, damn, you gotta really, you never know. You always want record away from a big placement as a producer. You always want a big record away from, you know what I'm saying, uh, success with, as an artist too, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it goes both for me with the producing and uh, and the artistry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you gotta have your hand in everything nine days, bro. You got to really be out there, you know, and really just really succeed off the shit and make money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you can live off of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, what we working on today, man? What you been cooking up on, bro? See, honestly, I ain't even um, got a tie back in here, man. I had a, I got a couple records I'm gonna preview for you off the uh, off the market of beats. You know what I'm saying? That's a little eight song album I'm dropping okay. in January. Sure. Um, so, you know, January like thirty first, something like that, thirtieth type shit, twenty eighth. Nah, yeah, it's, it might be the, it's on the twenty first. It come out on the twenty first. Okay, yeah, it's like next week, some shit like that. Yeah, it's real close. It's real close. Literally a week away. Yeah, yeah. That's dope, bro. Yeah, man. Like, uh, any features on there? Nah, 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 nah. Well, you know what? The reason why I say nah, I got our, it's our in-house. You know, my click, Bank Bros. Most of the people on there, they from Bank Bros. You know what I'm saying? So, it's still like, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Because I am them. You know what I'm saying? They are me. So, it's the same shit. My boy HB the God on there, Trey Banks. Um, yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, that's pretty much I think it's his uh L3. My boy three bucks might be on there. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
It's a toss up between the warm up by J. Cole and uh I like Friday Night Lights. Yeah. And uh Section 80 by Kendrick Lamar. It's a toss up between them two. Classic, bro. Yeah. The first time I heard this shit, bro, I did backflips like, man, who's this motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, right now I'm about to get into this joint called, um, I just named it Funk Freestyle because it's real short. It's going on my um, project, The Mark of the Beast. The Mark of the Beast, I should say. Um, I'm dropping at the end of January, just be on the lookout for it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into this joint. 25 years, I done seen some shit Couple homeboys turned into fiends and shit Couple other homies capping up them beans and shit Lot of people say they love me, they don't mean this shit Salute to all the OGs that went legit Graduated from brickers and rentals some chippers The real never say they real, but y'all went cup with them clippers With a long-headed spoon, I fuck with you niggas Matter of fact, I don't even fuck with you niggas When that Henny hit my system, trying to fuck on your sister Is she a hooker, a looker? Fuck it, no matter, I took her Niggas talking that bill shit, but walking all that simp shit Fucking on the freak bitch, I can't do no weak bitch Cold on that hoe, still might talk sweet shit I saw my big homie on got soup I told him ain't gon' be shit like you I used to eat humble pie off my dinner plate Learned at a young age, don't get in the way Cause once you get your cleats wet, then you're stuck in the game Don't let them put you in the box, now you're stuck in the lane Get off that dumb shit, boss up and run shit Take possession of your mind and possession of your time Bitch, stop falling for a zodiac sign Lost my mom and two uncles in two months time Hope they free the real niggas doing too much time Bought a new 40, but it kicked Back like a nine. I ain't tryna be no gangster, but I ain't going for shit. By the way that I was raised, bitch, I know I'm the shit. This shit out and take an ass, woman ain't running from shit. If I let your bitch tell me better, Drew don't spit. She tried to show a nigga how to do it, how I do it, but it just ain't it. Gravity define how she split on my dick, on my shit. Like a mixtape, how I come and drop dick. It's a new world order, it ain't by the jet. I got Finney in my raps, nigga, come and get a fix Better you come get your bitch, but shit, that's if you can. Y'all niggas don't understand. Y'all be tryna hold hands, I be tryna count bands with the bitch. Right there, right over, man. This is this is just a joint, bro. That's, that's one of my favorite songs. Yeah, that's what Baby, maybe we can kick it with no strings attached Blow some marathon and run a lap around the city It ain't about your ass and titties Connect intimately Cop high fashion and act high sedity I know y'all don't fuck with them coins Affect you all about your coins Fuck with the God and put a side by side Balance kingdoms when we side by side She perfect my imperfections The glow from her complexion Give me dopamine erections A young goddess in the flesh As far as eyes can see She left a nigga hanging like he was a posture piece But that ain't even how she moved She had no choice in front of all this moves, roll the dice, you might lose But that was front page, yesterday's news Now she the only dope I use I'm the only piece she chose I broke the rules and exceptions too But it was all for you But it was, yo I wrote this song cause I hope you would feel this And if it's cool, we can kick it through chill shit This for my fly goddess, that's on some real shit Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be tapped in Where can they be reached at as far as our streaming platforms? Shit, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Amazon, Deezer, you know what I'm saying? YouTube Music, it's gonna be able to, you know? I mean, anywhere music can be reached, you need to go ahead in tune with that You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? This one's gonna be able to yeah, man, that's basically I'm working on this documentary too. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, gotta get that done for it too. It's gonna be a documentary drop shortly after that. I ain't gonna drop on the same day as the album, but it's gonna drop shortly after that. Part. That motherfucker gonna be pretty dope. Hey, man, that's what's up, man. See, man, I appreciate you just giving me your time, bro, man. Definitely got hip on you a little bit more. Definitely in tune with you, my dude. Oh, yeah, appreciate you, man. Thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, man, we gonna do it again sometime, man. What's going on, little T beast? God, yo, it is. I show my abs, no pity. Uh, Look up with bro, me and MBZ gonna fuck up the city. I, I, I just came back from Cali. Uh, I just broke my bitch with 50. Uh, me and my bitch with the runway.